Here's the super brave quiz from this guy, the super brave teacher. What do you think I love, love to celebrate most in children? Hey, super brave friends. My name is Joel Karleski. I'm the super brave teacher. And yes, I'm a kindergarten teacher finishing up his school year. And that's why I was thinking, what do I want to celebrate most with kids? What do you think it is? What do you think is that one thing that I think is super important to celebrate in kids? Now, if you watch these videos, I'm sure you're thinking, oh, you probably are celebrating that they are enough just being who they are. And cha-ching, 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 that is right. That is something that is very important for me to do. It's something that every day we have the brave mirror and they have to look in the brave mirror and they have to say, you are, and then they say their name, and then they say that you are enough just being who you are. Yes, 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 I agree with that. And it goes deeper than that. I want you to think even harder. I want you to think, what could it be? What could it be? The answer is that I love to celebrate the ordinariness, the ordinariness of kids. I love to celebrate that kids are ordinary. I love to celebrate the moments that are just moments. I love to celebrate the things that just make them who they are, not, ooh, this child wants to be a scientist. Okay, so you get an extra sticker because you said the right answer. Or, ooh, this child is gonna be a professional dancer and is putting in extra work. Therefore, you get it double stickers because you are extra special because you're putting in extra work. Or, wow, you're gonna be a mathematician or you're gonna be a coder or you're gonna do all these great things in life. No, every day, I try to just celebrate and enjoy the ordinariness, the ordinary things with my students. So yeah, my students right now are obsessed with Shopkins. Let's celebrate that. They're obsessed with Minecraft. Let's celebrate that. They're obsessed with their little sibling. Let's celebrate that. They're obsessed with putting ones on every number and making them bigger numbers. Let's celebrate that too. Not just these huge milestones like, oop, we can only celebrate you once you graduate from kindergarten to first grade. Oh, we can only celebrate you once you go to middle school or high school or college. We can only celebrate you when you do something that I think I can say, wow, that is worthy of my celebration. No, let's celebrate every moment. Let's cherish every moment because when I think of these kids, who knows how much longer I'm gonna have with them, how much longer they're gonna have with me. I wanna enjoy these moments today, now right now. When I was entering college, you've heard this story before, my younger brother died of brain cancer. And ever since then, I'm like, wow, you gotta enjoy this time of grace. You gotta enjoy this life now. And it's something I live. When I say, let's spark bravery today, let's make it better today, I really mean it. And I love living that attitude with my students. So I encourage you to do the same today. I encourage myself to do, continue to do the same today. Celebrate the ordinariness of life. Celebrate the little things that are just normal. Not just the big things, not just the things that are Instagram worthy or Facebook worthy. The beautiful, beautiful things of life that make people who they are. I see you, I celebrate your ordinariness because you being you is enough. And Joel, keep being ordinary. That's okay if those little ordinary things you do, it's awesome. Bye friends. Ordinary, ordinary, not special. Ordinary, ordinary. Okay, it's special for being ordinary.